Hi, Bobcat Faithful. We are here today, Hallsville Student of the Week section. This section sponsored by Roofmasters in your local Hallsville Sonic. Guy Walker, myself today here with Zachary Rogers, Zach, and we always get to do a little pre-interview with students. And today I'm excited because we always ask where you're at in your class. And we kind of get kids to lie and say, hey, they're, they're number one. But we're actually here with the number one in his class. How much work have you had to put in to get to that spot, man? Yes, sir. You know, it's been a little, little late night studies, you know, waking up early. and But it pays off, you know, you get the recognition and you get money for colleges. So, Does it come natural to you, Zach, or is it a combination of work or, you know, some kids? Because I, I get a feeling a lot of it actually comes natural to you. Is it something that you have to just bust it to get where you're at? Or does some of it kind of, you feel, not come easy, man. I don't mean right. it like that. Yeah. But do you feel that you just something the way your brain processes gets you there? I would say for me, definitely it's uh, putting in the work. You know, some people are naturally like gifted, but I've always believed in like hard work. And that's always what my dad told me. Just if you want to go, you're going to have to push it to reach it. But some people are just naturally gifted, but. I would say it's more work and then natural gift is there too. So tell me, tell me, tell me a typical day in, in the life of Zach. I mean, it, when you get home from school, what, what, do you, what do you do in, in the afternoons? Normally I work a job usually from four to nine-ish and then we'll study from like nine to 11 and that'll be about it. So a little bit of studying, but now I don't have a job. So I'm actually working on some other things, some businesses and just doing other hobbies I like. Now, we compete in UIL math, calculator, and number sense, correct? Yes, sir. And so when you go into a competition, are we competitive? Uh, are we competitive natured? I mean, <laughs> do you want to win those things? Yeah, I mean, one event for sure, calculator. I, I go in there and I'm thinking I'm obviously going to win because that's I've just been winning that for five how, years now. How do you win calculator UIL? So, like, you get a calculator <laughs> and they give you a problem. You just got to type it in faster than the next yeah, guy? Yeah, so you just get like 30 minutes, and it's a series of 70 questions. And add, out of those, there'll be like a few, maybe 20, that you just crunch them in, and the rest are all mental. And you have to, you know, work them out and use formulas and stuff like that. So so you can – it's not all calculated. you got to figure out the formula, then put it in calculator. Yeah, like you have to apply what you know to math and work with some formulas and do other stuff and then derive your answer. So the last last weekend was in Pine State Country. Yeah. How did you do in the, in the, in the meet over there? Well, actually, I, this is the first time I got second that year. I mean, this year it's the first time I got second. So next year we're gonna come. I mean, next week we're gonna come and you know work hard this week and so crush the competition. Tell me, tell me, we didn't lose to somebody from Pine Tree. No, come on. Okay, that yeah. makes me. Look, <laughs> if, we, if, no, if you lost to somebody from Pine State Tree, I'm done talking with you. Yeah. Now, on your side, you said you like to do a little going online, doing some trading. You like to play poker. Right. And all I can envision is that movie Rounders, kind of that Matt Damon sense where, like, there's this smoky room in the dark and you're studying. Right. I mean, again, just your mind mathematically loves that kind of stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I like the statistics, and it's just like if you're playing any games, blackjack, poker, it's like, you can calculate statistics in your brain, and it just it's an advantage. So, you so when, when you're playing poker, <laughs> are you you're thinking about he's got this this much card, he's got that card, and the statistics of him that, or are you just playing by luck and feel how you feel? No, I'm definitely looking at the board, and I'm saying, okay, well, he's betting this amount, he probably has X cards, and due to the board and what I have, well, it's either good, bet, or it's not. You know, it's a bunch of. A lot of math. Yeah, a lot of yeah, math. math. <laughs> I mean, well, it's uh, not like the old days when you had, you had shades on, pulled down. It's a bunch of smart people playing yeah. the game. It's it's poker face there. So, all right. And I'm, I'm a, the, the, the hoodie aside, Where what do we want to do after high school? Where do we want to go? Well, eventually I want to open up my own businesses, doing like real estate and trading stocks. And I've always had like a mind where you can just like, Make the money work for you. That's what I want to do. I want to be free, and I just don't really want to have a job. But if I were to graduate college, I would want to do something with working as an actuary, working like insurance field and pricing the models or doing something with numbers. Uh, yeah, numbers. Zach, thank you for joining us. Guys, thank, thank you all. So we'll see you all next time.
Peace. Man, that flew by. Zach, thank you, man. Appreciate you, bud. Thank you. <laughs>